episode of Star Wars Squadrons on Let's Play with Moriarty. It's been a wee while, taking a, a, a fair number of weeks. But we got here. Ah, the Starhawk. It's a little bit battered and bruised. What a shame. I'm interested to see how this ends. I said that like the whole way through. I really Can just want to see how this ends. Kyo! Let's go talk to Kyo. So we're back with the Republic now. We had a wee, um, we were kind of chilling around the Empire for quite a while, but we're back with the Republic again. So, yeah, we've only got like a couple of, a couple of missions left, I think. So, let's just Ardo see what happens. I saw a way through that minefield Titan set up, but no matter what path we took, we'd lose the fleet. I know it. So the commander took Ardo's second choice. We're heading into the Ringali Nebula. No long distance comms, sensors are almost dark. It's a gamble, but it's better than no chance at all. When those missiles hit us back at the dockyards, I thought the Temperance was done for. Full shields, and they still almost tore us apart. Mm -hmm. But we got Teresa and Titan Squadron to chase us, instead of destroying Nadiri for good. That's what matters. Our next steps are unclear, like walking into fog. <laughs> Better get to the briefing room. Everyone's gonna die. Imagine, imagine that's what happens, like, everyone dies. Wouldn't be the first time, Rogue One. Let's Rogue One this. Let's just, you know, kill everybody. We're all gonna die. I'm kind of sad because we'll get started. we haven't had an opportunity to really get to know everybody. Least of all on the side of the Republic. Like, yeah, it's not very. Let me speak plainly, Vanguard Squadron. We're in trouble. We have the overseer behind us. An it's very linear. To cut us off. There's no way we'll send them off. We need to send a distress call to our allies in the New Republic and hope they can reach us in time. The problem is, we're wounded, outnumbered, and the Ringali Nebula is already disrupting our long-distance communications. Luckily, General Sindula has located an old broadcast hub that once orbited a nearby moon called Galatan. If we restore the Galatan broadcast hub, we can send a distress signal to New Republic forces outside the nebula. Chief Mechanic Zarelda Sage will lead a repair team to do just that. She'll also locate communication satellites in the area to boost our distress signal. The more active comsats we have, the stronger our transmission will be. Teresa surely knows this too. We can suffer minor losses with the comsats. The more we have working, the faster we can signal Chandrilla for help. The Empire's fighters must not destroy the broadcast hub. We lose that. We won't survive. Keep Zarelda and the Comsat safe. I'll call for aid as soon as you get the signal strength high enough. From there, all we can do is wait and hope. Yeah, like, this game is very... I suppose it's better for... Um, you know, um, you, as a background, as a background game, like a one that you would maybe play just casually in your spare time between games, maybe, um, as a, you know, following it stage by stage, it doesn't really, because it doesn't really have. There's obviously the story of the Starhawk, and you know what happens with that and. I, think, I guess that's sort of interesting, but th there's no character development. I don't, like, nothing's happened to me, you know, and all the levels have been the same. It's all very, go out and shoot this, go out and shoot that, go out and shoot those things over there. It's all very samey. So, as a casual game that you would play from time to time, yeah, absolutely. Um, it's enjoyable enough. But 
it hasn't really delivered what I was expecting um, beforehand. But hey ho! This will work. Vanguard Squadron has handled dangerous assignments before, and I think I've done all of this before. A deadly nebula on one side and a crumbling moon on the other. That gives us a slim margin of error. It's this, or we come up with something more drastic. You know me, Ardo. There's always another way. Trust me, General. I'm aware. I'm just letting you know that my crew is feeling the strain. Noted. But I trust my people, you included, to make this happen. Sorry, not now. I got I got all of these previously. Um, but I'll do them again anyway. When I left the Empire. I tried to leave behind their views on morality and certainty. The core of Imperial Doctrine is being certain that what you're doing is right. This guy looks like... Doubt is seen as disloyalty. What's his face? Now I understand oh, that you have to decisions with a clear heart. And ask what more you could do. Should do. Giancarlo Despacito. The plays... The guy, the bad guy in The Mandalorian. It's and bigger than any of us. Most things. I know you'd rather be defending the Starhawk, but I promise that reactivating the broadcast hub is the best thing you can do to ensure the project's survival. Good luck. I know you won't let me down. It'd be a, that would be a good part for Giancarlo Desposito, and he'd be playing a good guy rather than a bad guy. That'd be different. <laughs> I always say when I see him in anything. I'm always like, oh, you're going to be bad. Like, you might start off good, but you're going to be bad. You're going to be, you're going to be evil. Somehow. Oh, we're talking to everybody. Okay, where do we start? Let's just start from the beginning. Gunny. Listen, I know things seem tough, but we've stared down death more times than I can count. Stranded in a nebula? That's nothing. We survived the Xavian Abyss. Hunted down by an Imperial fleet? So what? If they could stop us, they would have done it by now. This is war. Everything we face is gonna be tough. That's why the New Republic entrusted this mission to us. To Van Van Squadron. No matter how hard it gets, how hopeless it seems, or how tired you feel, Van Van, don't give in. Now let's go get them. Let's go and get some. <clears throat> we're gonna lose. Like, we're gonna lose. You know, after Endor, I wasn't sure about staying with the New Republic. I'd fought the good fight even shaken that death mark. I didn't see the point in going legit, so to speak. Figured I'd cash out, then get back to doing what I do best. It was Grace who changed my mind. The day I was set to leave, she pulled me aside and told me something I'll never forget. She said, I'll miss you, Frisk. And back home on Dosh, my clan and I never got along. You're too loud, Ferris. Why don't you like hunting, Ferris? As soon as I could fly, I left. Made my own way. On my own. Until I met Vanguard. The only thing better than pulling one over on the Empire was flying with my vanguard buddies. And it never occurred to me they felt the same way. Uh, the point I'm trying to make is, whether it's a life or death mission or just helping a Trandoshan feel at home, we make it work. So yeah, things look bleak. But when vanguard flies together, there's nothing we can't do. Especially with you around. And if we fail, we fail together. And no one will ever know because we'll be dead. <laughs> now that's a win in my book. <sighs> Ready to go when you are. See these little bits in between where I get to talk to the guys. They're kind of they're cute. They kind of give a little bit of You're in a U meat, which is great news for me. I'll need all the support I can get out there. All these years on the temperance. 
I've never deployed on a mission. I just fixed up what came back. I might be nervous. Scared, even. But I've seen what you and Vanguard can accomplish together. I'm ready. I won't let you down out there. Right, you've got... On this side, you've got a couple of, you know... Frisk has the history. Um, quite a, a somber history. Um, Gunny, meh. Okay, Gunny's kind of boring, actually. I kind of feel. Um, Zerelda, she's kind of just you know starting out. Got that sort of like energy about her to just like get going and do stuff. Um, but then on the other side, you've got like Shen and Grey, who have like more I don't know um, engaging backstories I guess but even that the little doses in between missions is not quite enough to substantiate like the gameplay overall and there's nothing you for my character the squadron flying. <coughs> this is a support fighter specializing in disabling enemy fighters and empowering the squadron so like, where is the the where is the backstory for my character? You know, I kind of feel a bit I feel a bit lost. I'm in another U wing. <clears throat> I like my support fighters. I'm all about the support, the Reaper, the U-Wing. Find my my way in life. Okay, Vanguard. The broadcast hub is close. I hope it's still in one piece. Look what the nebula's done to that moon. I dread what it could do to our ships. Could be worse. We could be back in the Xavian abyss. Or dead in the minefield. See? Zarelda gets it. Do, 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 flying through space. Is this going to be the final showdown, do you think? There's our broadcast hub. Beginning docking procedure. I'll have this old relic up and running in no time. Well, let's get this done before the Empire notices we're all here. I'm shaking in my boots. You're not nervous. Kiel, I've seen Vanguard Squadron fly countless missions. What am I supposed to be worried about?
<laughs> Shitting our own people here. I could shield people. <laughs> My bad. Whoops, it is. I can't find them. There they are. Thank you. 
I think I just hear to do shields again. What today is this? Ooh, what's that? Looking a bit touch and go there. Signals back at full strength. Ready when you are, Commander James. Attention. This is Commander James calling from the Ringali Nebula, requesting emergency assistance. Thanks, Zerelda. We couldn't have done it without you. You're damn right. Do -do -do -do. I'm calling back up. Is it gone? It's gone. Well, it was short-lived. We can't abandon it. We can lose our stock on the prototypes. Not the people who built it. You're gonna help them escape. How, boss? The Temperance's hyperdrive is busted. They're working on it. But don't worry. I'll buy you enough time. What's he gonna do? What's, what's, what's he going to do? Is he going to sacrifice himself? He's going to sacrifice himself. Have faith in you. Besides, if there's one person who's keep your attention, it's me. I need you. I, I mean, that's true. Future of Project Starhawk. Maybe the New Republic itself is in your hands. All due respect, sir. You won't last a second out there alone. Hello? No. But thanks to you, I've been able to call in some help. Commander James, this is Anvil Squadron. We got your message. We're here to help. Good luck. Everyone's here. And may the force be with you. Oh. I bet that would be a really great scene. With a, like a really great moment for musical accompaniment, but unfortunately, I can't have musical accompaniment because it keeps being copyrighted. So that's a uh, that's a uh, disappointment because I feel like that would have been a really great moment for music. Oh well. Oh, we're back with the Empire. That was really short-lived. There you are. <gasps> Grey! I like Grey. Anyone else that needs to talk? No, just Grey. Cool. Talk to me, Grey. When I was a police officer on Parkella, I'd spend weeks fighting red tape to arrest a racketeer or 
a slaver gang, people who were obviously guilty. Mm. I enlisted with the Empire because it gave me the power to do what was necessary, deliver justice to the galaxy. It's the wrong kind of justice. Flying ties is more dangerous than chasing crooks. Every time I fly out of this hangar, I know it could be my last. But I come back, time and again. I'm so tired of arguments about Imperial morality. I've heard pilots question our empire. They wonder if our methods were right. But they always forget one thing. What's that? The simple fact is this. We have the power, so we have determined what is right. When you're out there, never forget that you get to decide who lives and who dies. You've earned that power. Let's go. The captain is waiting. Okay, so Grey likes to play God a little bit. That's interesting. We've done it. With Vanguard Squadron backed into a corner, Lyndon Javes has made his last mistake. We have confirmation that Lyndon has joined the fray. That's not all. He's leading the same rebel squadron we decimated at Moncala. Mm -hmm. This is a calculated move. Lyndon wants me to do something reckless. He thinks he knows me, but he's wrong. We're not going to take the bait. Titan Squadron will focus on our real target, the Starhawk. Admiral Sloan is counting on us. I wish I could deal with Lyndon personally, but a commander's true weapon is a squadron, not a starfighter. Go. Complete your mission. And if you get Lyndon in your sights, strike him down. Clever. She knows that her weakness is Jave's, and in knowing that, she's acted against it. It's interesting. This is it, Titan Squadron. She's a clever, clever woman. Is at hand. The Temperance has broken off from the Rebel fleet, but no matter. Our focus is the Starhawk, and thanks to the reinforcements from Admiral Sloan, we now have it surrounded. The Starhawk suffered catastrophic damage from our Baradium assault and has had no opportunity for repairs. If I'm correct, a careful strike to the ship's tractor beam core should turn it into a floating time bomb. Reaching the Starhawk will not be easy. The Rebels managed to call in reinforcements of their own. Anvil Squadron, to be precise. Lyndon James is handling Anvil Squadron's tactics. Personally, Anvil took heavy losses at Moncala, but they still have Starfighters and a grudge. Destroy them. They're also fielding a Nebulon B frigate. We have a radar on hand to assist you. Once you reach the Starhawk, you must breach its armor to attack the core. Scans indicate there's an undetonated Baradium missile lodged somewhere in the Starhawk's hull. Exploit that. With the hull breached, a single fighter can fly inside the Starhawk to attack its tractor beam core. We have no idea what to expect on the inside. Do we we must are going to core overload and then escape to the Overseer while there's still time. All our work and sacrifice has led to this, Titan. Do not let Lyndon James stop you now. I love it. I love it. We are going to Death Star, the Starhawk. We are going to give the Republic a taste of their own medicine. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. I, I, I absolutely love it. This is it. Destroying that Starhawk makes us heroes. And heroes have influence. A smart person could parlay that influence. Become Admiral Sloan's aid, perhaps. Once in the heart of Imperial power, you can guide it. From there, anything's possible. Even the foundations of a new Senate. Now all we have to do is win. Oh, don't worry. I'm not losing sight of what we must do. But this is about more than ending a war. A true future for the Empire, beyond Death Stars and Rebels, is within our grasp. 
That is what I'm fighting for. Hmm. Whatever you're fighting for, remember it today. Well, wow. Captain Cattle. I would be remiss if I didn't point out that our odds of success are substantially lower than usual. Are you saying Titan Squadron is no match for a broken down rebel fleet? Oh, uh, no, not at all. Your record is very impressive. It's just that these rebels are desperate. That makes them especially dangerous. Hmm. A valid observation, LT-514. I expect you will keep it in mind. I talked to this pesky to see how squadron tactics really work in the field. And I discovered how little I really knew. But now I have enough material to submit an entire intelligence data bank on Titan Squadron. And yourself in particular. <gasps> I'm gonna be famous. Rebels has been very educational. And rather fun. Thank you. It's been an honor to observe. You've made yourself indispensable. Titan Squadron would not have been the same without you. When I called you to serve, you answered without hesitation. I won't forget it. The battle is waiting. Do not disappoint me. What can I say? I'm amazing. <laughs> Let's get on with it. No, oh, Von Rager. Anvil Squadron makes no difference. Once the Starhawk is gone, we'll be one step closer to ending this war. But the end of the war doesn't mean the end of our duty, does it? Captain Carroll may be satisfied with destroying the Starhawk, but it's only one ship. Enemies of the Empire exist all across the galaxy. I'll deal with them myself if I have to. Sounds like a good retirement to me. Let's finish this. It doesn't sound like retirement at all. <laughs> Each to the road. Shen, what do you have to say? So you're just not going to retire. We know our duty. Take strength in that. You fly. I'll follow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's crack on. This is it then. Captain Carroll needs you in a TIE fighter, bomber, or interceptor. Your choice. Oh. I'm gonna go with the... Uh, I'm gonna go with the interceptor. Let's, let's do this thing. Very nearly at the end. We're very nearly at the end. On your order, Captain. I've come to expect nothing less. The Starhawk is straight ahead, but you will have to cut through the Republic fleet to reach it. Overseer to Imperial Raider. Help Titan break through the Republic lines. Yes, ma'am. Moving to position. Let's go, let's go. Destroy those fighters now. And we'll leave it in Titan. You should have wiped us out of Moncala. Thanks for the second chance. And if you're looking for me to resign, I'll just be over here with the rest. 
Want to become famous? Mm, I'll pass. One more. The rebels have locked on to me. There I am. Couple more. Where are you? All fighters destroyed. Yay. Take down the frigate! What is it? Titan, stay alert. More enemy capital ships are incoming. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ships from the 
Yay! Going down. It's going down. Ooh, okay. Did that fancy flying, or just you know going side to side and all this. Where is it? Okay, I've got it. Got it there. This is scary. I'm just gonna power through. Just powering through, just. <laughs> oh god, here we go, here we go, here we go. Chances. 
Got him! <laughs> Vanguard Squadron is doomed. Imperial ideals have prevailed. Loyalty, duty, discipline. And with our latest champion, we shall ascend to even greater heights. Titan III has been promoted to Flight Baron with full honors. Well done. Your future with the Empire is bright. I take pride that the death of Lyndon James sends a message to all who would betray us. That wherever the enemies of the Empire may arise, Titan will be waiting, no matter the cost. This war is our crucible. We will emerge I love these transitions. this new republic to its knees. Oh. Love it. Love it. Here we go. Last mission. It's gonna be with the vanguards. Here we go. Wonder what it'll be. What we're we gonna do. Starhawk said Lyndon James is dead. So we think. Maybe. Maybe he survived. Oh, I know. The whole team. Commander is gone. Yeah. Um. You know he did the right thing, though. The civilians needed us. The commander sent Vanguard where we were needed most. Of course. This is what he fought for. That's why it hurts so much. Whatever happens next, this is the end of the line. I just wanted to say, I know we haven't flown together very long, but if I'm being honest, it feels like you've always been here. Oh. Everyone in Vanguard, when I say it's been a pleasure riding beside you, pleasure so mine. But we also have each other to lean on and to protect. You've got my back out there, and I have yours, no matter what. Okay, General Sindula is waiting for us in the briefing room. Shall we? General Sindula? All right, Hera, what's up? She's actually I'm sorry here that our first in real person. Under such tragic circumstances, we're all feeling Lyndon's loss. Quite small. Cornered. You and Vanguard have held back the Imperials, but we must get those civilian engineers out safely. I need you focused and ready to go. Lyndon saw you as a leader, an inspiration even. That's the courage I need right now. Let's get you and the others briefed. There isn't much time. What are we going to do? Thanks to your work on the Kongsas, Anvil Squadron heard our call. And with Lyndon James bought us time to repair our ships for escape. But now the Imperial Fleet has Anvil's ships pinned down. They can't get out. So we're going back into the fight. Because we need to buy everyone time to escape. No one left behind. Ardo thinks we have one chance. It's drastic. But here it is. The moon is highly unstable, and the Imperial ships are positioned around it. If we crash the Starhawk into the moon's core, the shockwave should destroy those Imperial ships, 
and let us escape. If we're fast. Ooh. How, how? The ship's tractor beam is firing uncontrollably as it overloads. If we can get a couple of corvettes into that beam, we can tow it up to speed. Vanguard Squadron, you're up first. We're counting on you to clear the path and take out the closest star destroyer. Corvettes will then enter the tractor beam, and if Ardo's plan works, get the Starhawk moving. It should have a straight shot. Defend our fleet, in case the Imperials get wise to what we're doing. When the Starhawk collides with that moon, the shockwave will hit every Imperial ship in range. And you... And us, yeah. It. It's risky. Sacrificing the Starhawk will save our fleet, and the engineers will build the next one, and the next. The future of the New Republic depends on it. Let's finish this. Except, they don't build anymore. So, do we fail? <laughs> Ardo. You should know, Linden always speaks. Spoke. He never forgot what you did for him at Vostar Haven. I know war takes its toll. Even when the Imperials attacked Moncala, I had to keep my head. Lyndon was a friend. He knew exactly what he was doing when he challenged Teresa. It doesn't make it any easier. The Overseer has fallen back. The other Imperial ships still have us pinned down. You and Vanguard are our last chance. I believe in you. But more importantly, I believe in Vanguard Squadron. Lyndon bought us time. I know you'll all make it count. Get to your ship. Every moment matters now. Mm-hmm. Hera. We were able to evacuate all personnel from the Starhawk. Engineers, technicians, and mechanics. We took a big loss today. Those who died at Nadiri. Linden. It won't be in vain. So long as we survive, so does Project Starhawk. And with it, the future of the New Republic. Fortunately, the Imperials didn't seize control of Nadiri. They were too busy chasing us off. I've already, I've already sent, sent Meteor and Hail Squadrons, squadrons to secure the dockyards. Now all we have to do is make it out of here. To your fighter. There isn't much time. Let's go. Oh, a little A-Wing. Alright. Frisk and Grace. Look at me, I'm not scared. We'll get through this. We always do. How do you know? Because we never let each other down, that's why. So, after we pull this off, because we will, what are you going to do? This isn't the end of the war, Frisk. It's just one more battle. Yeah, but we've earned ourselves a whole pile of day passes. You ever been to the last hand on Nar Shaddaa? Best cantina in the outer rim. What a relief. For a moment there, I thought you were taking this seriously. It's strange where conscience leads you. It took me from being a daughter of Imperial lackeys all the way to this tipping point. I'd be lying if I said I didn't miss my family. Regardless of their loyalties, they are still my parents. My sister. But in Vanguard Squadron, I found a family I could stand beside proudly until the very end. Whatever happens next will be our legacy. And I'm proud to share it with both of you. <sighs> you, Gunny, Keo, you're all acting like this is the end. Am I the only one who remembers we're Vanguard Squadron? We have to survive. The galaxy ain't gonna save itself. Let's go. Ain't every day you crash a Starhawk into the moon. <laughs> It's very true. It is very, very true. All right, let's go. You'll need to be flying your best for this one. X-wing, Y-wing, U-wing, A-wing. 
Pick whichever fighter you need. Ooh. Best flying. Let's go with you, Wing. You wing? Yeah, let's go with you wing. Gosh, it's gonna be Lyndon Jeeves, isn't it? They missed their chance. Eliminate that star destroyer so we can move the star hawk into position. Uh, any advice, General? Hit the sun system first to weaken it. Then strike with everything you've got. Just like that, huh? Eliminate that star destroyer like we're swat the Minoc. Whoa. Yeah. Take out each component first. Come on! There we go. Don't. 
Splendid shades. Yeah, like why would it not be? It miraculously survived because of a gravity pocket or something. And you'll have a way to kick start the engines and fly the Starhawk into the moon himself. Or something like that. <laughs> I'm getting there, I'm getting there. I could have gone faster. Could have. Deal with them. We'll hold off the Imperials as long as we can. Prevent engines and full power. How long is this going to take? Longer than I'd like. Be ready. Come on, hold together. You okay, Linda? Okay to fly, but not to fight. My little droid here can only fix so much. I need, I need, uh, I need that. Feel better already. Darts, here we go. Move friend, move friend, move friend, move friend. Still under attack. 
Cool. There we go. I take out our engines. Wait, I'm helping.
come on. There's that alarm. They all love that alarm. Oh. Ooh. Yay! Way out! Go! 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 quite yet efficiency but oh well hope is like the sun if you only believe in it when you can see it you'll never make it through the night we know our new republic faces great challenges but thanks to vanguard squadron peace is closer than ever general Sindula sacrificed one starhawk for the chance to build a fleet. From the Deary, Commander Jades will guide our best and brightest, forging the strength to challenge an empire. The war goes on, but we face it with renewed courage. Inspired by heroes who fly for freedom as we emerge from the darkness of Imperial oppression into the light of a new era. Nice. Very nice. Very well done. Credits. Oh my gosh. 
gonna skip these because it's so sorry. Yeah. Okay, well, that's the end of Star Wars Squadrons. What a journey that's been. Again, I have to say, like, I enjoyed the game, but it would be it's a it's a good space filler. Um, it's not one. It's not what at all what I was expecting. Um, and there definitely could have been, you know, there's definitely room for improvement here and there. A bit of fleshing out some of the story, potentially. Um, but no, I did I did enjoy it. I did enjoy it. I don't regret playing it. Um, it's been fun. It's been fun. But that is it. That is it. I wonder if there's kind of room for a sequel there. And I do wonder if there is a sequel that's been planned. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But until then, that's all there is for me. It's been an absolute blast. I don't know when I'm going to be back next. I've taken another wee break. Um, until I can figure out a new timetable, um, a schedule that actually works. And once I've got that, then you will be the first to know. Thank you very much for joining me on this journey. And I will see you next time.